In today's video, we're going to talk about this razor right here, the Blackland Blackbird Titanium, coming right up. Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm your host John. Now for today's video, I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts on my recent uses with this razor right here, and that's the Blackland Blackbird Titanium. I want to start off with the disclaimer that this razor was provided by Blackland Razors and that all thoughts going forward are indeed my own. 2021 is really shaping up to be a year uh, where I'm really doing a deep dive with all sorts of razors, safety razors, straight razors. Uh, it's quite exciting really. Uh, I'll talk more about the performance of it, but let me show you what else we have for the shave today. First up, for the soap and aftershave, we're going with West Coast Shaving's Glog. And this one has the scent of mulled wine, a really wonderful uh, cold weather scent. Also, this is featured in the Duck Fat Shave Soap base. And for my shaving brush, we're going with the Dogwood Handcrafts with the Decoration Grooming B8 Knot. As I'm lathering for the shave, let me give you a closer look at the razor itself. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. These are all easy ways to support and grow the channel if you're enjoying what you're watching. Alright, so I'm lathered up and ready to go for my first pass. First off, I want to state that uh, this razor is very, very light, and that is you know, one of the qualities of titanium. It weighs in assembled at 54 grams, and this is probably my fifth use of the razor. And I think what happens with that lightness is it affords uh, the razor a lot of uh, nimbleness. Along with that nimbleness is a very smooth but efficient razor. So uh, as far as blade feel goes, I would say this is low to moderate, which um, although I haven't used the stainless steel version of the Blackbird, I hear that one has quite, quite a high amount of blade feel and efficiency, uh, the lightness of this razor, I think, eases up on that blade feel, but retains the efficiency. So I'm working with about like two and a half days worth of growth. And this has no problem really tackling um, multiple days of growth. And even for a light razor, I can you know, keep a very light touch and it does a job just fine. Uh, the biggest indicator of efficiency was, um, I think I left about two days between shaves and you know, when it was time to shave again, I still felt like I didn't have that much hair to actually work with because of how, uh, how close a shave this had provided before. So the efficiency definitely took me by surprise that time. Now, I know this is a fairly um, fairly new razor to market, so not too much information or reviews are out there, um, at the time of this recording at least, but amongst some friends and acquaintances that have tried this out, um, I think the only negatives I've come across so far are some machining marks. Uh, on the, I think particularly on the head itself. Uh, when I showed you the closer look at the razor, uh, my razor actually looks, uh, to my eyes, look just fine. But I do know, having recently spoke to Shane at Blackland, uh, he's very responsive. If you have any questions, any concerns, um, should you, you know, this razor or any other razors you pick up from Blackland, um, definitely, you know, bring, bring up any concerns to him directly. So we're lathered up and going in for that second pass. Now this might be a silly reason, but uh, 
when I did a little research on this razor, on Blackman as a company, and found that the, the jet with the same name, the Blackbird, was the inspiration of this razor. I mean, my, my geeky brain immediately thinks of the X-Men. If you are like me and you grew up with the X-Men Saturday morning cartoon, uh, that just had such an awesome theme song. So you're welcome for getting that earworm stuck in your head. Now, I did snap a few pictures and if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my earlier uses of this razor. And some folks would ask me about the handle and the design um, and whether it was slippery uh, during use. Actually, I, I had no problem with this. Um, I can see where it might slide, especially if the, uh, you know, with the brass or the stainless steel version where it's, there's more weight. Uh, but as far as this version, there's no, you know, uh, there's no problem for slippage. Now price point is probably gonna be the biggest deciding factor and whether, you know, this razor, um, which retails at $300 US, if that is within your budget or not. I think that's another reason why it's, t it's taken you know, so long to try razors. They're typically more expensive than, than brushes and definitely more expensive than soaps and aftershaves. So taking into consideration those factors I just mentioned, especially uh, the performance where it's a low to moderate blade feel razor it is quite smooth and very efficient. This quickly busted into my top five safety razors. And although, I'll, although I think it's a little too early to say, cause I would say this is like my, my honeymoon phase with the razor, within you know another month or two's time, I, I, I might call this probably my favorite razor. Um, currently in my den, so very high praise for me um, in my in my testing of the of the Blackbird Titanium. All right, so really fantastic shave overall. I've been loving using this razor. Let me not forget finish up with the Glog aftershave splash. But yeah, we got a real contender for possibly my favorite razor, new favorite razor in the den. This will definitely make a 2021 best of list, you know, by the end of the year. My prediction at least. All right, so final thoughts. As someone who likes razors, um, which are efficient and not a lot of blade feel, this is right up my alley, you know, right, right from the get go. And one thing I guess I do want to caution against is that um, lighter razors, you know, I, I found this with aluminum as well, is uh, just be careful not to apply too much pressure uh, since the weight's not there. And definitely be careful of over shaving because um, this is deceptively efficient. I think you might not think so the first time you use it. So I just, you know, word of warning, it's got that efficiency, even if you're not, you know, getting a whole lot of that razor blade on your face. Really a fantastic razor. Um, if possible at all, you have other you know, friends, acquaintances that are fellow shaving enthusiasts. If you can give this a borrow um, before you sink some money into it, I highly encourage checking this one out. Again, today we've been talking about the Blackland Blackbird Titanium. If you guys have tried this razor out, you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.